I'm coming to you from my office at work. Uh, I want to talk about tomorrow. It's a big day for any M car owner. It is the 1200 mile break in service on the M2. I'm really looking forward to that because it means now, after tomorrow's service, I'll be able to really see what this car can do. Um, so the next time you see me, we'll be on our way to the BMW dealer to get the 1200 mile break in service completed. Leaving work with 1201 miles. Today is the big day, 1,200 mile service on the M2. Looking forward to that, but taking it to the BMW dealer right now. While we're at the BMW dealership, I'm gonna to try to find out what is involved in the 1,200 mile service and why we have to do this on all M cars. I know there's also been some issues posted online about the brakes uh, warping or uh, corroding on these cars. I don't know if it has to do with them sitting in some factory outside for a while um, during production or what the issue could be but i'm going to have them look at that as well uh, during this service and see if this particular car has any issues i've, I've not felt anything that makes me think it, uh, that it does um, but it's always better to be safe than sorry on that kind of thing i think Well, this turned out to be a little disappointing or a lot disappointing. They didn't have the diff fluid in. Apparently they're having supply issues thanks to the UAW strikes. So we'll have to save our 1200 mile break-in and post break-in video uh, for the end of the month or hopefully, hopefully the end of the month or sooner. But as soon as we can do that, we will. All right, well, until next time, we'll keep it under 4,000 RPMs for a little while longer. I want to get a camera mount rig system. I know I've mentioned that in other videos. If anybody knows of any good systems, whether I should get a GoPro with a mount, or uh, just get them out for the phone. Um, please comment below and just let me know anything you've seen or anything you've experienced using in a car that's worked well, I'd appreciate it. Oh, I know you think you're going first, but you're not. There you go. still fun even if I can't rev it out so um, they say that the diff fluid will be in at the end of the month which is about two weeks away uh, so hopefully the end of the month about two weeks I'll be able to get that service done um, they told me just not to go over 2,000 miles which I'm not sure what BMW would consider correct but that's what they told me there was another car there, though, that I did take some video of. It's a new M3 that showed up for another customer. Uh, it was just sitting outside, and it's a really nice-looking car, nice spec, the uh, Portomayo Blue. Uh, I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, with the red interior. Um, it's one of the options I had considered when I was building online, uh, and then ultimately I decided that if I ordered an M3, I was going to go with the darker blue. I think that would have been the right choice, the darker blue, because this blue really wasn't my favorite. Um, and the red inside was a little brighter than I expected. Um, and so I don't know if I would go with the red interior or not. I mean, it's nice. It looked good. Um, but with the light, lighter blue color, probably not. Now, maybe with the darker blue, it would look better. But I'm thinking the orange with the dark blue would look really nice. Uh, of course, I joked with my wife and told him, I wonder how much they'll give us for this uh, M2, for the M3 here. <laughs> not knowing at the time that it was already a, a sold car, but um, I'm not sure she thought that was very funny. But anyways, the uh, M2 is not getting its service done today. So a couple more weeks and the wait continues.